example this here is a 1940 Farmall H that I have just picked up uh, as you can see it's got a loader on it um, the loader is a new idea there's the tag on the loader not sure how much it would pick up they did install a, a, another hydraulic pump they're not using the built-in hydraulics on the H they have a pump that they ran off of the alternator you can see the alternator has a double belt pulley on it and they come down and run this hydraulic pump here I'm not sure the name on that pump yet or how much pressure it's capable of but uh, yeah so gonna get this thing running I took the battery out um, have the carb off I'm in the process of going through the carb right now I, I got to order a rebuild kit for that and uh, get that in it I think I'm gonna put a new float in it also um, the rubber on it is in fairly good shape it shows some some cracking and that but there's still good tread on it the tires aren't too too dry rotted actually this one on the right side is in fairly good shape the size of the tire is a 13.6 by 38 and you can see it's got one of the each each rear wheel has the weights on them and up here you can see all the hydraulic for the loader and then the lever that's on the right hand side here is actually a lever for the three point hitch conversion that's on the back of this which I'm pretty excited about because I have a few implements I can pull behind it and uh, utilize the H as a backup tractor you can see the PTO there uh, you can see how the three point works here there's a hydraulic cylinder on the side that's going to have to be replaced as the rod is pitted up pretty bad on there going to reroute some of the plumbing on this too and I will be removing all the uh, controls for the the loader uh, I'm not planning on using the loader on this not sure what I'm gonna do with it if I'm just gonna hang on to it or sell it or scrap it it's in really good shape there's nothing bent up on it so but this this tractor sat uh, inside a barn for the last 12 to 15 years and hasn't been run so I got quite a bit of work to do to get her going uh, here you can see some of the cracking on the tires but it's not not bad the rims seem to be in good shape I do think the tires are loaded uh, probably with calcium but uh, we'll, we'll be figuring that out here you can see a, a hydraulic reservoir for the the uh, hydraulic system that they added to the tractor everything for the hydraulics that come on the tractor uh, is all capped off so it's not in use right now um, here you can see I got the carburetor off and then right here is your your tag the serial number is FBH dash one nine six two nine 
and uh, did a little research on the internet and it comes back as a 1940 and um, was very happy to get a an H that had uh, the wide front end uh, I live on a pretty hilly spot here and uh, really didn't want a tricycle uh, front end on, a, on the tractor and all I did here was just lift up the the loader and put wood under it to hold it up so hoping to start dismantling this loader and get it off the tractor so it did come with tire chains I got the original muffler um, I took that off for now So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Everything seems to work. The brakes work, the clutch works. PTO, it seems to be working. So that's the, the latest addition to the place. Kind of excited about getting her going and see how she runs. I do want to pull the valve cover and make sure nothing is stuck in there before we try to start it. Um, it's got a distributor and coil on it. Doesn't have the mag. Uh, you can see they put a resistor in and a little, uh, I believe that's a capacitor and regulator for cutting down the 12 volts to 6 volt volts for the original lighting so we're gonna have to go through some of that wiring and everything so you see they put a little starter solenoid up there nice project We'll be documenting this as we go.